Hey everyone, Jonathan Silva here, and what I want to do today is go through the very first time you're ever going to create a Microsoft Power App from a SharePoint list. So this is for those of us that are absolutely brand new to Power Apps and Canvas Apps and really want to see what all the hype is about when working with Canvas Apps. So let's take a look at our data source, our SharePoint list that we want to populate this app with and go ahead and get building. So here we have my SharePoint list. It's a pretty basic one that I've put together. Maybe you have a more complex one with calculated columns and a lot of data that you're pulling in. For this one, I'm just going really simple. And for this list, I just have a, a basic device order. Anytime any employee of ours wants a new device, maybe it's a laptop or a, a monitor or a chair or a lamp or whatever it may be, they either go ahead and come straight to this SharePoint list and create a new request straight on here. Or maybe we have this tied to a Microsoft form and then some somebody in the organization, maybe it's you, maybe it's me, we have to come in and take all of those form responses and update this device order list, uh, this request that we have each time that comes in. Then what we also do is when that order status gets uh, you know, confirmed or where it's delivered or anything, we have to come in here and manually update this list ourselves each and every single time. Well, luckily for us, that's a thing of the past. What we can do is utilize Power Apps from Microsoft within the Power Platform to fully integrate this list into a really, really easy application to make in a matter of seconds. So you have a much nicer interface to work with. You can share this out with other users without giving them direct access to the SharePoint list. So they don't come here and do the edits, they just access the application that we build for them. So what we're gonna do to get there is navigate over to Power Apps from Microsoft. Now, you can go ahead and type in your URL, make.powerapps.com, or the easier way is by selecting your app launcher here inside of SharePoint or wherever you are, and then choosing Power Apps from here. That's gonna use our single sign-on to be able to get us exactly where we want. If you don't see it, you may need to go ahead and choose to see all the other apps we have within the Office 365 uh, apps that we have, but then you can choose Power Apps from here. And when you do that, it'll navigate you directly over to Power Apps so you could start building from there. Now, I have that open another tab, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click right there. And this is Power Apps from Microsoft. This is where we can make amazing data-rich business applications for ourselves and our organization to help us solve these specific tasks or problems that we work with on a daily basis. Now, one thing to note, the app that we're building here is not those one of those apps that you're gonna find in your app store, maybe wherever it might be, whatever device you're working with. This is specifically a business app from Microsoft here in Office 365, so keep that in mind when you're trying to use this. And all you need in order to do this is an Office 365 license. So as long as you have Outlook and OneDrive and SharePoint and Teams, you're here, you can go ahead and make this yourself. Now, the interface has changed a lot here with Power Apps in the last few months and years. So one of the great things we get with the newest interface is the inclusion of AI content. So like chat GPT with a co-pilot here with Microsoft. And the easiest way for you to go ahead and build your very first app is allowing Copilot to do it for you. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead of here and we're gonna choose straight on our homepage here to start with data. What this is gonna do, it's gonna let the system create the app for us as long as we have a place to point to for our data. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and then get myself out of the way so I can show you all the other cool things coming up. So once we go ahead and choose start from data, we can then choose where the data is living. So you can see, is it an Excel file? Is it a blank table that we're just generating here with Power Apps? Is there an existing table maybe with Dataverse that we have? Or is there an external data source that we wanna use? And for me, that's exactly it, because I wanna use SharePoint. And you can see there are the icons that we have 
that we can connect into. So SharePoint, SQL Server, and an Excel table. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. Now all I need to do is choose the SharePoint site that I want to point to and then the list that's on the site. So I can come here, mine is in my training sites. Then I can come down and find the list that I want. I have a bunch of lists here, but the one I want is my device order list. Yep, that's exactly it. So I'll go ahead and choose that. And then all you need to do is in the bottom right hand corner, select create app. That's it. It's as simple as that. Now what's happening is our app is being created. It's there, it's done. We don't have to do any coding. We don't have to do anything else. The app is ready for us. Once this screen loads, all we need to do is push play and, write it and let it go. This is the great thing about working with Power Apps and Microsoft is that we get the inclusion of all the good stuff that we love so much. So here we have our app. This is our Canvas App Design Studio where we can make all the modifications, the changes to our application if we want, but let's see what we get just out of the box just with that simple click. So all we wanna do is up here is we wanna click that play button. That's our preview here inside of our designer. This allows you to see like what the app is going to look like just as is. And if you have any other external user within the organization, everybody's logged in and all that, it's what they would see too. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and boom, here is the app. It's done, it's ready to go. All we need to do from here is, is work with it. So I can see all of the different requests here on the left hand side. Okay, these are the rows coming from SharePoint. You can see there's myself, laptop battery. I can click on it, it says the one I have doesn't work anymore, that's my reason. If I come over here to my SharePoint list, there's myself, there's the device, there's my request. It's the same thing, it just makes it so much nicer, so much easier to work with here. We can come in, we can click on that one. You can see all of the information, the estimated cost, the date, was it approved or not? Um, is it the date of approval, the status, are there any attachments? What we also get is a really simple way of editing that request. So I can come in here and click on this button in the top right, and now I can edit that request directly from here. And any changes that I make here are automatically tied to that SharePoint list. So I can come in here and I can change, let's say I wanna change my reason. The one that doesn't have doesn't work anymore because I dropped it, right? You add that in here. All I need to do is, was it approved? I could just say it's approved. It was back in the past there. If I want estimated cost, maybe I want a more expensive one. I'll put that number up a little bit. Then I can hit the check mark, right? This is in the past, we're editing an old one, but there it is. I've now come in and change that request on the fly here in a really simple way of doing it. And if I go back to my SharePoint site here, all I need to do is if I refresh this, what you're gonna see is it's now automatically updated SharePoint at the same time. Look how fast that is. There it is, the one I have doesn't work anymore because I dropped it. There's my cost has been changed. It's automatic, it's ready for us. And that's the great thing about working with Power Apps is that really seamless integration without having to do anything, without having to do any code or anything like that. So for those of us that don't have any coding background, have never done this before, look at that. Look how simple it is. Not only can I edit an existing one, but I can add a new request here as well. It's gonna automatically put my name, or if I can just change this, I'll put um, something else I'll say. Maybe it's gonna be, just come up with another name there. Estimated cost, I'll do $500. What am I looking for? Here's my drop down. It's my choice column from SharePoint. What am I looking for? I want the most expensive monitor money could buy. Well, not maybe not the most expensive, but I want a good one. Reason for request, uh, I want all the HD, all right? Then the date of request, I can put today's date. We can change this on the fly too when we go back into that designer to automatically populate today's date. We can add in attachments here, order status. We can hard code this to uh, in progress like as a default if we like. And then once I go ahead and hit this check mark, guess what? I've now added that new request. There it is at the bottom there. If I come back to SharePoint, guess what's gonna happen if I hit refresh on the screen, okay, boom, there it is at the bottom. Look how fast, look how easy it is. And it's just simpler, right? You can send this and share this out to others inside of the organization and 
there you have it. You can sit, have them go ahead and make all the requests in a nicer little area. Now, one of the best parts about this is that this not only works on your computer, but also on a tablet, also on a cell phone. So I can come up here and I can see what that looks like over in the top right and I can hit this little phone icon and let's say I want to see what this looks like on an iPhone. Um, let's choose iPhone 12, 13, 14. Why not? And this is what it looks like. This is what the app will look like. If I go back here, I can see all of the requests. So if I open this up on my phone, that's what it's going to look like. I can make a request from my phone. I can hit new. I can look at an older one. I can edit an older one. I can even delete one or you can get rid of that delete button if we don't want our users to do that too. We have all the same usability here that we work with just on the phone, on a tablet on our computer. It's all going to be the same. We can see what it looks like in landscape mode as well. So if we just turn our phone sideways, that's what it looks like. This is a great way for those of us who are just brand new to this just to get started when working with Power Apps. So what I encourage you to do is find a SharePoint list. Go ahead and try it for yourself and see what it looks like. All you need to do if you really want to use this in the end is go ahead and save this call this something, I'll call this my device order app or whatever you wanna call it by hitting that little save icon in the top right. Go ahead and choose save. And then once it is saved, all you need to do is select this final button on the top right called publish. This allows others to be able to access this. This allows you to go ahead and say where this is gonna be stored so that other people can come and play with it and work with it. You could choose publish this version and once you have that, it is now ready to go for all of your users as long as you share it with them, just same way you would share out like an Excel file or anything else. We share it with them through their email address. They can now work with this app themselves and it's ready to go. Have some fun with this. Let us know if you have any questions and come back to us here at Pragmatic Works for all of your intermediate and advanced Canvas apps and Power Apps ideas and questions. We're here to help. Thanks, everyone.